Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you are a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Hello, this is Mike with Trayvon's RV Center. Here to congratulate you on your Jayco Seismic 4113 fifth wheel toy hauler. You guys have picked a very cool unit here. I'm here to walk you around it, show you how to use a few things, get the best out of your camping experience. Let's start by talking about arriving at the campsite. A couple things to take into consideration on your campsite. Of course, your awning. Then you have your deck that comes down on this side. Over on your off campsite, of course, your slides. Leave plenty of room for them to come in and out unhindered. Leave yourself a nice walking path. Because the next thing I want you to think about is where your power and water connections are going to be. Your water docking station can be toward the front of the unit on your driver's side of the tow vehicle. And your power is going to be all the way at the rear on the driver's side of the tow vehicle. So make sure you get yourself a nice long water hose. Park accordingly so you can utilize the facilities at the campsite. Once you arrive, we're going to unhook our hitch. Equalize the system. Simply turn that on. Go right here, raise or lower your front until you're off your hitch. Once you are, you're just going to touch auto level. Auto level is going to move all your auto leveling jacks, bring everything down, Get your unit nice and level. Once it's level, we can hook up our power and water. It's a 50 amp cord on the end of the unit here. Big long one. At the end of that 50, should you need it, there's a 50 to 30 dog bone, they call it. Comes with your convenience pack. And if you need to plug in a home, put this 30 to 110 on the end of that. Just remember, use appliances accordingly when running off 110. Don't want to uh, pop some breakers in there. Got our power hooked up and took our water up. So Jacob made their docking stations real easy. Give you a little diagram here. So we're at the campsite, we're gonna hook up the city water connection. We're gonna make these look just like that, which now it does. Set up for city water connection. First and foremost, water pressure regulator. The water pressure regulator is gonna reduce the water pressure to 40 to 50 PSI, protecting lines in the unit. Use the water pressure comes with your convenience pack. Hook that up here to your city water. Got that set right. Don't turn your hose on yet. Right here's your hot water heater. All we're gonna do at this point, make sure our drain plugs back in. You may have left it out last time you were out camping, draining your hot water heater. Go ahead and get that back in there. Once that's snug, you can go ahead and turn on your hose. Now, if your hose been on for a while, go inside and open up your water taps. Once air is coming out of those taps, and uh, you got solid water gone. We can go ahead and turn on our, our go, solid water going, uh, the air's out of the lines. We can go ahead and turn on our water pump or our hot water heater, excuse me. Now, let's say we're gonna go dry dock. Turn on your hot water heater from inso inside, by the way. If we're gonna go dry docking or boondocking, you're gonna start by city fill. Fill your tank with it just like this, in the same spot, and just like you do your city water. Treat your hot water heater the same way. Once you've got your tank full, hook this up to dry camp. Now that's gonna bring water from your, from your tank by turning on your water pump. Don't turn on your water pump and hooked up to city water that's already pressurized. 
All right, we're all set up, got our power and water. Let me go ahead and walk you around the rest of the unit. I'll start, start here in the docking station. Again, our equalizing system. The indicator light for your water pump. Solar on the side, you can plug in a solar panel there and it'll trickle charge your batteries. You have a docking station with this, or spray port with this hose that hooks in here. Cable and satellite and auxiliary hookups. Again, all of your the ways to set your system up. Your black tank flush, we'll talk about that when leaving the campsite. City water and your black and gray handles. Door right there, you can run your hoses down through there. Over here in this docking station, your light here, you can set it to motion or to on. In your storage here, besides this 110, you have this fresh water container. You can fill that up. Uh, that'll give you fresh water to drink out of your island upstairs. Your propane here is on a regulator. Simply point it toward the tank you wish to be using. Green means you've got gas. Get your hot water heater. Coming down your off camp side here. You got your storage here. Another light and your vacuum system. Hook your vacuum up there. Turn that on, you can vacuum. A couple places to dump here, you have an extra uh, low point drain and gray tank there. And then your main black holding tank and gray tank are back here. Your unleaded fuel, your whole fueling station here. Your power. There's your ladder, utilize it. Go up there and check your seams a couple times a year and caulk as needed. Maintain your roof. Your units also prep for a backup camera up there. You have your big fuel awning. I'll run that out and open up this garage here for you shortly. Your outdoor grill here. We got it pulled all the way over to the side here. I'll show you how to put that back. You can actually clamp a TV on here. So this grill over here, you've got your griddle over here. Big long LP quick connect. And there's a couple quick connects for your LP. This will close with your deadbolt key. Now to swing this back, I'm just gonna lift up this cotter pin, swing the whole thing back around and it'll snap closed. You also have a spare tire manual crank here. This is a vent, you can push that open from the inside. As I said, you can hook a TV on here. And there's your cable 110 for that. Around your campsite, we'll put this deck down here in just a moment. Black tank flush, low point drain. This is a flue for your furnace. If you run your furnace to clear that, it'll get rather warm. Again, your pass-through storage. Another pass-through storage over here. Looks like you've already purchased a water hose. Your other propane over here on this side. In the front here is your hydraulics for your leveling system. Your generator, I'll start that up in a moment. Your batteries, check your battery posts. Make sure those haven't wiggled loose as you're coming down the road. And lastly out here is your battery disconnect. This will disconnect all the battery power to the unit. That'll come important later when I talk about your carbon monoxide propane detector. Well, covers everything out here. Let me come, come over here real quickly and set your deck up for you. There you go. Simply undo these doors here.
First thing on your deck here, we're gonna unsnap these on both sides. Now your front is simply gonna lift up. And we are going to unvelcro on snap. Get around here where you can see that. And unsnap this. Swing that open. So I say on this side, this will swing open. Get over here. As this comes this way, you see this piece snaps right in there. Unsnap this one here. Bring that one out. And just that quickly, you've got your deck set up. That about covers everything on the outside. Let's go take a look on the inside. Also up here on your deck, you have an outdoor TV. Turn that on, show you that working real quick. Couple outdoor speakers for that. See if we can get a channel to come in here. We're inside a big metal building, not much could come in here. Pull these down, I'm gonna bring you deck back up. So it's coming up inside the unit. First thing I want to mention is where your fire extinguisher is. Make sure that you and everyone in this camp with you knows that the fire extinguisher is located at the entry doorway in case of an emergency. To your right, as soon as you come in, here's your control panel. Simply touch the panel. At home, you can control your temperatures, lights, motors, tanks, energy. We'll start. Shut your AC off because it was just on. Turn your AC on. All right. Now let's go to climate, change it from cool to heat, turn the heat on, oh, it's 62 in here and that has to be brought up, there's your heat, shut your heat off, you notice that the heat fan always takes a little bit longer than the AC fan. So going back to home here, we'll go down through them, just here you can control all your auto leveling, again your temperature. Your lights, you can scroll through here and control all of those. Down here, you can check your tire temperature and pressure. And down here, Show your generator up. Sometimes you have to touch that button to prime it a little bit. Come around here. I'm just going to show you a generator running. Burn nicely. Back up inside here. Stop your generator. Down here on the bottom, these are all lights. All your interior, your exterior, and this will shut off everything. Here's another spot you can turn on your water pump. Coming over here, extend and retract through these. We will start with off. PA stands for pair. You can get the BM Pro app, which is really cool. You can do all this from your phone. Awning one, awning two, and you slide controls. Go back to awning one. I'm gonna show you on your awnings. You wanna run that out until that flap falls down to 90 degrees. That's as far as you wanna run that out. It will run past that, so keep an eye as you run that out. It doesn't have an automatic stop on it. But run that one in. I'm gonna go to awning two real quick. Hit extend and just show you that one working real quick. 
the other awning down there. We track that one back in. And we'll run awning one back in. Continue to run that in down here on the floor. Here's an access panel for your breaker box and fuses. So you got a little variety in there. On in and turn your lights off. Go ahead and close your door and continue to run the unit. Up here, you'll see a few of these throughout the unit. That is a temperature reader. Helps the thermostat work better. That fresh water button that was down in the bo or bottle that was down in the storage, that's where you turn that on to get fresh water through there. Max air vent, touch that button. That's gonna open up and turn on your max air vent. Hit fan off and it'll close it automatically. Down here on the floor, your vacuum system, sweep everything here. Send that underneath. Then you're into your kitchen here. Do you get a uh, few of these lighting things around? Slide lighting, ceiling lighting. Another spot to turn on your water pump. Uh, GFCI, or 110 with GFCI reset there. You have these power stations. Self-explanatory microwave, you do have a high and low exhaust. A light, turn on your panel light, or your oven light, your panel light's on this side. Simply turn that to light, push it in for your spark, there's your flame. Same thing on the oven, turn this to light, hit your spark, no need for a pilot light anymore. Then just set it at the desired temperature. No cold fridge, turn that on here, go through our settings. Right now it's on auto. Auto means when you're plugged in, it's running off electricity. As soon as you unplug, it'll be on gas. You can make it strictly electric, strictly gas, and change your temperature one through nine over here. Another controller. Come back into your bathroom. One thing I want to mention here, other than your fan, lighting. Hand crank open your vent and maintain your plumbing. Keep an eye on your plumbing in here, more so as you would at home because you are bouncing a house down the road. Back in the bedroom here, grab another remote. Turn your TV on there. See that working? Your wine guard system, if you subscribe to that, that's where you turn that on at. Coming out of your bedroom. Come back down into the living room. I want to go over by the fireplace real quick. Next to that on the floor is your 12 volt carbon monoxide propane detector. Reason I mention this 12 volt, always running off your battery. So if you're gonna be gone for the day and you're boondocking, use your battery disconnect to keep this from running your battery down. And over here, another television. I turn that on. Down below that, you have your JBL sound system. Turn that on here. You also have a remote for this. All of them are in the kitchen drawer. Bluetooth, AM, FM. A uh, really nice system. Fireplace. Not just for looks anymore. Yeah, I can turn it on and go through all, all the different colors and brightness. But the biggest thing is the heat. If it's chilly in the morning or evening, instead of using up your gas, use their electricity to warm it up in here. See, have several of these lighting systems all throughout the unit. Up here is your bunk area. Here's your table that'll set up down here. Gonna bring your bunk up. Come up underneath here. We'll run our bunk up. The controls for that are here. The control for your awning is right next to that.
Is your table legs will spit no slats under your table. I want to show you here on these bunks. Because once this is all the way up, if you want the top bunk to stay, bring this back down. And in each corner, you're going to have this little metal piece. We're going to flip that down. Bring it down so you get better access to it. So this is a little metal clamp right here. Once it's all the way up, you can bring that forward. And that'll make the top bunk stay up top. You have an extra fire extinguisher back here. You have these vents. Simply push that out. If you have uh, fuel fumes in here, that'll help alleviate that. You have a prep for a washer and dryer back here. Your other television. Separate bathroom back here. A little half bath. Not much to talk about in there. Another temperature reader. This is where you can put a garage camera. You keep an eye on your garage as you're traveling down the road. On your party deck, there's all your steps for that. And there's your ladder for your top bunk. That about covers everything on the inside. Let's act like we're leaving the campsite. First thing I like to say is doors and drawers. Make sure that all doors and drawers are closed. Nothing's going to impede any slides from coming in. Go ahead and put your remote back in here. Come over to our control panel. I touch number one. We want to shut off all my main lights. Then I can walk around the unit and see other lights that I need to shut off. Come back into your bedroom. Accent light here. And lastly, shut off our bathroom lights. Now, as you may know, with this bunk area, this door, turn your bedroom lights back on here. This door must be all the way open in order for this bunk room to slide. I'll go back and turn on my lights so I can show you what I'm talking about here. So this door must be latched in there in order for this slide to close. Come back around. Turn this to slide number one, retract. It's gonna bring that bedroom slide. I like to say doors and drawers. Make sure all doors and drawers on the unit are closed. Nothing's gonna impede any slides from coming in. Slide number two, retract. We'll bring in our living room. So slides are in, hit number one, all our lights are off. We're gonna exit the unit. As you do, make sure this exterior door is all the way open, otherwise this will catch on it. Set your door up in there. Lock and deadbolt your exterior door. Lift and turn your handle 
and your door is secure. Unhook our cable, water, and power. We're gonna come to our hot water heater. We're gonna lift up on this pressure release valve. That's gonna drain a bunch of hot water out of your hot water heater. Once that's done, snap that back down. Then you can pull your drain plug. Come to this next low point drain. Open up that if you're using fresh water. And if you're hooked up at the campsite, your low point drain for that will be back over here on your campsite by your door. So open those up. Got everything drained, we can go ahead and hook up our hitch. Again, come back to your stabilizer system. Turn it on, bring the front up, get up on your hitch, and then hit all retract. All retract is gonna bring up all of your stabilizing system. Shut that off, head on up to the dump station. At the dump station, park accordingly. Now you do have a 10 foot hose comes to your convenience pack, but we do have bigger, longer, stronger ones that you can hook up there as well as here and not have to move for dumping. But you're going to want to start here in the back because first thing you're going to dump is the black holding tank. Hook that up, hook up your hose, pull your black handle. It's going to be the one on the left. After it sounds like that's no longer draining. So this is for your rear bath. So we're going to come over here on this side. There it is. And use this black tank flush. Hook the hose up there, let that run for a good five minutes. That's gonna go ahead and wash out your black tank. Once that's done, close your black handle, pull your gray handle. That's gonna be cleaner water as your sinks and your showers. That'll clean your sewage hose out a little bit. Then bring it up and hook it up here. Once you hooked up here, we're gonna come up here and open up our black tank. After that black tank sounds like it's no longer running, we're gonna black tank flush here. Hook up that hose, run it for a good five minutes with that black handle left open. Wash that out, unhook your hose, close that, and pull your gray handle. Again, clean your wires, sinks and showers. That'll clean your sewage hose out for you. Take it, store it away in a nice sanitary place and head on home. Again, thank you so much for your purchase. Hope you enjoy this seismic for many years to come. Happy camping.